And this is not expensive material. The, um, the cotton batting, um, the thing is, is that some people try to take the easy way out and use like felt. Do not use felt on an oven mitt. <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another video with me. I'm Nikki, if you're just joining me. I'm helping you sew things for your friends and family. For those of you that have been with me and coming back for more, I'm glad you came back. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Let's talk about what we're doing today. You know those aprons that, you know, remember the apron? Yeah, that wasn't long ago. We're going to make some matching quilted oven mitts to go with them. All right, yep. So we're going to put several layers in these babies and um, have a matching set. <laughs> so I wanted to give you something quick after a long tutorial. So here we go. I got this pattern. See, I'm using the same fabric. I got this pattern off of the Insulbrite that I bought to put in here. And I've been using this for years. <laughs> so um, yes, when you buy Insulbrite, you're going to need Insulbrite. Look on that wrapper. The, the, the pattern is right there. Okay. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do, we are putting multi layers in here. So inside of this um, oven mitt, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight layers of goodness. This is going to be a quality mitt, guys. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do, um, grab your um, grab your fabrics. We want to set aside that inner lining for right now. We want to work with the outer fabric. We want to work with the Insulbrite and the layer of 100% cotton batting. Okay, this is Wrap and Zap. You can use any kind of 100% cotton batting you want to, okay? What's going to be important is the order in which you put this in, okay? You want the batting to go on the lower, the bottom level that we're working with right now. Then you want the insulbrite. The best way to describe it as to which part should be facing your hand or the outer fabric and which part should be facing the batting is to look at it you want the shiny side, okay, the shiny side face down so that it touches the heat. That's what you want. You want this shiny side to reflect the heat back to the source, okay? So the cotton batting is there, but there is the shiny side. So that flat portion is what's going to go up against your outer layer, okay? That outer layer, when you have it, okay, you see this way? That outer layer is not touching anything, okay? So it's the inside that we need to worry about. You can hear the insole right. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to quilt this. And the reason that um, we're going to quilt it is because there's so many layers in here, we want to make sure that we're giving it some extra support so that when you wash it, the inside layers don't shift and move anywhere. So I'm making this super simple. We're just going to put some simple diagonal lines across the mitt. If you want to make it more elaborate, by all means, for decoration purposes, you can just add additional lines in between these white lines and then quilt over the top with the opposite from the opposite direction. And then you'll have yourself some diamonds in there. Okay. But for me, for the purpose of this tutorial, I am just going to sew some diagonal lines um, going across this. Okay. So I'm going to pin this because this will shift. Okay. It's several layers. And if it shifts, which it will, don't worry about it because... We're going to, we can cut the outside. Um, we can cut the outer portions that shift, okay? Cotton batting, if you don't wash it beforehand, it always shrinks, which is another reason why you actually do want to quilt it, okay? This particular project. So right now, 
what we want to do is we're just going to go from one point to another point from um, the left side of the mitt to the right side of the mitt. I'm going to start probably at the top here, okay? And I'm going to, um, I'll just show you one time and then you can randomly pick um, places um, along your mitt, okay? So you see that? I'm not going to show you this for the other mitt, <laughs> but you can just randomly, um, uh, that's right in the way of my, of my line. It's okay. <laughs> Okay, all right, and I'll just for keeping up with the <laughs> with the aesthetics there. Okay, so go ahead and um, right across. So right across, I'm using my presser foot. Um, I believe in my presser foot with multiple layers. You can grab your walking foot if you want to. Um, I don't need it because, like I said, if you've seen my other videos. Um, I don't know those extra pieces I don't use them I pound these these I just have faith in these machines they have not done me wrong okay and they're soft and squishy okay. see that's all we're doing right there you see that boom that's what we want point zero so it's not like you have to go and you know um, use 4.0 unless you know your machine um, will give you issues with tension I'm not worried about back stitching because we're going to um, we're going to be connecting this layer with another layer, so we don't need to worry about backstitching. Alright. Looks great. Oh, one more. I forgot the bottom. the same thing to your other piece okay just making sure because of course I told you things would shift a little bit look that's normal I'm just making sure that um these are lined up as best as possible because I was playing around with not playing with them I was showing you guys them okay all right pinning And then I'm going to mark my lines. I'm going to do the same diagonal lines that I did on the other side. I haven't purchased any from a store in so many years. Now that I think about it, I'll do the thumb in a moment. Okay, now we're 
already. All right, what we wanna do now, I'm going to just cut off this portion that shifted. If yours shifted, I mean, you won't see it once you sew it, but that's just the anal retention in me. <laughs> okay. Face to face, go ahead and grab those um, and put them pretty side to fit pretty side. Okay. Yes, yeah, seriously, let me show you something right now. You're about to see the thickness here. And this is when you go to the really good department stores. This is actually up. Oh, I gotta slide it down a little more. Hold on. It's up too far. <laughs> Make sure you're lined up. <laughs> okay, there we go. This is what you're paying for at the um, at for the good quality, and this is not expensive material. The um, the cotton batting. Um, the thing is, is that some people try to take the easy way out and use like felt. Do not use felt on an oven mitt. <laughs> Okay, look at these layers. This is what we're this is what we're doing right here. Okay, and when we still have to put the lining in. So, all right, all right. So at this point, what we want to do is go um, leave this bottom open. What we want to do is go all the way down, all I mean, all the way up, all the way around. We want to make this a little pointed. When you get to the when you get to the thumb here, bring your point your machine uh, needle down a little bit here. Okay, and then take it back up. Okay, it has to do with the dip, with the point here. Okay, and then go all the way around, all the way down. Just leave the bottom portion open. Okay, let's see where I'm going to start from. I'll start at the thumb. Nope, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to start at the bottom here. <laughs> all right. I'm going to backstitch. Okay. beautiful looks marvelous okay all right I'm just going to cut some of this so that we don't I don't have a lot of bulk around um, around the edging reducing that bulk okay all right I'm going to put this to the side for right now. Oh, take out your pins. And now, we're going to get that lining. Okay. Make sure you're using 100% cotton for the lining. Pretty side to pretty side. Okay. What we want to do at this point here we want to sew down, leave a portion here, okay? Um, leave a portion open, like about four fingers, okay? Then continue sewing all the way down, all the way around to the end at the bottom, okay? So pick a side, any side, and leave a portion open. I'm going to leave the side open on my thumb. It really does not matter which side you choose. Okay. You can leave it on the straight edge. It doesn't matter. I'm going to lower my stitch length around the curve. Yeah, 
I round small curves, I lower it. lining so you see this right here we want to stick the lining inside of here that's what we want to do in order to uh, finish this up so turn this lining right side okay right side out where's the thumb <laughs> hold it poke it all right there it goes okay I'm going to stick it on my hand for right now, okay, and put it inside of your mitt, okay? And now what we want to do, make sure your seams are lined up, okay, push that lining in there, okay, if you would like to have a little tab on the end of your mitt, go ahead, put a little tab. Um, you can do that by using a scrap. I mean, I've done this in a lot of videos, but um, use a scrap, fold it over, and um, so that the raw edges meet each other, and then you can actually just place it right inside of the mitt right here, okay? I'm not going to do that. Um, I just, I just feel like you don't use them for anything. But some people hang them up. My mitts go inside of a drawer. <laughs> so, um, but if you want to hang it, create a tab. Okay? And you will put it actually right in here in between these pretty, um, the right sides of the fabric. And now what we're going to do is we're going to sew around the edging here. We're not leaving any holes. Um, because remember, we left a hole in the lining, okay? So we're going to close this up. Stick it right on, okay? And back stitch to start. All I do, I have it right here. I have it just sitting here, um, one portion of it, and I'm going to help it go around. I'm going to help uh, rotate the cuff, okay? So now I'm going to rotate the mitt, the cuff of it. Okay. Stopping, I'm going to rotate it again. Rotate. I just realized I left one pin. I'm taking it out. Hold on. It was at the very bottom. I'm always getting pinned. <laughs> okay, I just felt that pin, guys. <laughs> okay, back to what we're doing. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, I'm sticking down the lining piece. And rotating. piece out and you're gonna look for your opening okay look for your opening and then push the mitt through I'm just grabbing it from the top here I'm gonna push in my thumb portion as well okay da -da 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 -da. Now you're pushing through several layers, so the thumb part is the hardest part, that's all. <laughs> all right. There are chopsticks for that, folks. All right, this is nice and thick. I can feel it. Let me get my chopstick. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm using the flat portion. 
I'm gonna poke these, poke them out. Don't poke them too hard because you don't want to, um, you don't want to poke a hole. This is probably really only the only the only item that that I think we don't that I don't think I've ever top stitch. You don't need to top stitch this. So, all right. It's a little thick, so your fingers. <laughs> I have a straggly there. We'll get that out. All right. Poke that lining piece through. All right. And now close up wherever you left the hole. All right. Mine is right here. I'm going to now sew really close to the edge. I'm going to put this back on. I, forgot, I thought it would be wide enough to take off the cuff, but all right. Closing that up and going really close to the edge. So I need to just make sure that my seams stay under. Okay. gonna stick this back inside <sighs> look at that again folks the hardest part is gonna be the thumb you got to put the thumb so stick the lining in <laughs> stick your hand in and play around with it <laughs> I'm getting putting my thumb <laughs> hold on that's this is the hardest part the thumb Make sure you get it into the thumb hole here. All right, I can hear the thermos, uh, the insulate. <laughs> All right, oh, my thumb is almost there. All right, that's it. It's a little, I gotta put down a little more, but. All right, <clears throat> that will be it. When you buy the insulate, it'll come with the pattern. And so you now have yourself a way of making your own oven mitts. And it's nice and thick. The quality is excellent. And um, you can have one that matches your apron. <laughs> and it's quilted. And so that's about it. <laughs> so let me know if you guys have questions. Put them down below. Um, but go ahead and try out this quick tutorial, okay? Um, look at this one. This one has motorcycles. And again, you know how I feel about personalizing fabric and gifts, okay? Don't just buy stuff to buy it. Don't just make stuff to make it. Think about who you're making it for, okay? And, um, you know, pick a fabric for them. <laughs> so, all right, that's all. I will see you guys back here for another video. Like this video if you like it, okay? And um, I hope to see you back for another one. Bye, guys.